Now, how is the state of IT in Africa? For that, let's turn to Africa 54's Nibiake Mwakalele. Hello, Ndimi. Well, thank you, Vincent. Information technology is a fast-growing sector in Africa, and it is revolutionizing the way people around the world live their daily lives. Now, the Chicago-based global software company ThoughtWorks is at the forefront of this technological wave. The company's mission is aimed at using technology to better or improve humanity. ThoughtWorks brings people together from all over the world to achieve its goals. The company's employees, or thought workers as they're called, are targeted for their ideas and doing the right thing over their, over their appearance and background. And the company also declares that it abhors and rejects discrimination and inequality. ThoughtWorks has started a campaign called Come Home to urge people living abroad to return to work in their home countries. And now to discuss this more, here in the studio, we're joined by Betty Enyonam Kumahor. She's the managing director of ThoughtWorks Pan-Africa. And I have to say, thank you so much for coming here, literally from the airport yes. from Ghana. <laughs> yes. Wow. Thank so you what for brings having... you to Washington? So we're doing a come home campaign. So this is something we started from our Africa operations. Um, we've just seen since we've been on the continent that we have um, really an opportunity to have software developers mm -hmm. um, build software in Africa for Africa. Um, and so we know there are a lot of Africans so in the U.S. Right. And so we're here to kind of network with them and actually see if they want to take advantage of the opportunity and move home. So tonight there's a reception. Is this basically like a recruitment um, reception? It is. It is focused on recruitment. Um, it's tonight, starting at 6 p.m. at Bus Boys and Poets in Shirlington. Okay. Um, so if anybody still wants to attend, they should please feel mm -hmm. free to come out. And um, tell me about this move to invite people to come home. I know a lot of people are starting to go back mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. In terms of IT, what mm -hmm. are you telling them to come home to? What are the opportunities there? It's amazing. Every time I'm on the continent, there's really a palpable energy. You can feel that Africa is changing, Africa is rising. Mm -hmm. um, and technology, absolutely. Um, it's a, it's you know, affecting every, positively affecting every industry and every sector. Um, and so you can have tech entrepreneurship, you can work with companies like ThoughtWorks to actually build technology that okay. um, is mobile first and really kind of applies to the, the needs of the continent. So do they live here as employees or thought workers and then you set them up over there in their different countries and this is throughout Africa? Yes, well we have offices now in Johannesburg and Kampala and we're opening offices in Accra as well. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, we're open to people coming back to any of those offices. Um, and um, yeah, so there are opportunities to be an employee, certainly, um, but we are really sort of interested in exploring all the ways that you can get involved in the tech field because Africa needs more than just the ThoughtWorks company. We need more people kind of getting involved in the tech field. Well, you're on the ground, you're in Ghana. Mm. What are you seeing in terms of how technolog te technology rather is shaping mm. uh, the future? I think the biggest change that I've seen is that, you know, probably even five years ago, those who went to study computer science in school would mm -hmm. end up finding other jobs just to sort of make wages and be able to provide for families. But now there's definitely an excitement that technology can actually change um, Africa. And so I'm seeing a lot more tech entrepreneurs, a lot more um, folks in their 20s actually getting out and building software. Um, that really is solving real challenges. And um, is the infrastructure supportive? Um, it's, it's a very innovative way of getting technology out. Um, mm -hmm. So th the infrastructure is changing, it is improving, and it's doing it quite rapidly in mm -hmm. some countries. Um, but what you're seeing is that you're seeing a lot of um, sort of kids coming up with very innovative ways to kind of get around some of those infrastructure challenges. For example, I saw a battery being, um, a generator being made out of a battery. Um, and in Sierra Leone, a kid actually made his own generator mm -hmm. from scraps wow. in, a, in, a, in a field, in a waste dump. And I know even yesterday on the show, our colleague Paul Ndiho featured some, some young girls in Uganda who are mm. also doing amazing things. Now, ThoughtWorks has an interesting mission and concept mm. where it uses software to better humanity. Mm. Explain that. So at ThoughtWorks, we are really focused on bettering humanity through software, humanity first, um, but really also kind of pushing the boundaries on technology. Um, so we say we're very different from any company that sort of wants to do a, a CSI or CSR type program, mm -hmm. Corporate Social Responsibility. For us, it's very much a part of who we are and what we do every single day. But you know, people um, going back home want to make money. Is there mm -hmm. a money opportunity here? 
for most of them. Oh, we outside are, saving we are, lives and yeah, we are a fair employment company. So mm -hmm. yes, um, you can live a different life as a thought worker. Um, but yes, you'll find that a majority of thought workers are really sort of out to kind of change the world and, and would accept even less if, if, if that made that they could make more of a difference somewhere else. Well, thank you so much for coming all the way from Ghana to share that information with us. Thank you for having okay, me. Okay, that's Betty Inyonam Kumahor, Managing Director of ThoughtWorks Pan-Africa. She joins us here on Africa 54. Back to you, Vincent. Well, thank you very much, Ndimiaki. We want to know now what you think about Africa 54 and the stories we covered during the conversation on Facebook. The address is Africa 54 and check out our headlines 24-7 on voaafrica.com.